All right, we are going to do a 22 WMR, 22 Magnum comparison here today. I have the Hornady Critical Defense and the Spear Gold Dot. However, we're going to be testing these out of a rifle. I would very much like to do this test out of a pistol as that's what these rounds are geared towards for short barrel uh, pistol protection. Uh, but it's still, for me at least, going to be interesting to see what they'll do out of a rifle today. I do not currently own a 22 Magnum pistol. Uh, I hope to sometime later this year. So when I acquire that, we'll definitely redo this test with a pistol, but today it's going to be with a rifle. Some of you might think that's stupid because these are made for shooting out of pistols. Uh, however, I'd like to see what they're capable of out of a rifle. Perhaps some of these are better hunting rounds than what the standard traditional offerings are that we're used to so we're gonna find out uh today we're just shooting close range as i've been doing all my 22 magnum and 17 hmr tests as of late these are the last ones we have to do uh, then we'll be going out further ranges 50 and 100 yards uh, so i'm really excited to see what all those rounds including these do at further ranges and that's why i'm thinking we may get better performance out of these long range for hunting applications uh, than what you may see with standard loads so stay tuned for that so you may have noticed we have two different gels here they are both 10 percent ballistics gelatin however this is the infamous clear ballistics gel this is the nox brown gel if you want to know the difference between these two blocks make sure you check the link in the description for the video i made a video explaining the differences and there are many and that will also be why you'll see a little bit different results from one block to the next today uh, but some people like and swear by the clear block, others the knock, so we're doing both and will continue to do so as I am available to. One such difference is that knox is supposed to be at 39 degrees for optimal performance. You may see the snow, however, it is in the 40s today, but we brought them in the cooler. I got them on ice in there to keep them nice and cool so that they don't warm up uh, while they're sitting out here. Rifle I'm using today for the test is Rossi RS22M with a 21 inch barrel. Check out the link in the description if you want to see a review video of this rifle. Alright, so I got the chrono set up. We'll try to get some reads as we shoot into these blocks. I don't know how well that's going to work with this full sun. Give it a go anyways. Typically these work better in overcast. Um, so we'll put two of each in each block. Pull them out and see what we got. All right, so first up, we'll do the Hornady Critical Defense in each block, and then we'll switch over to the Gold Dots. Also remember, as I said, this is from a rifle. If I can acquire a 22 Magnum pistol, I'll be redoing this, and we will be testing this at longer ranges in the near future as well. All right, we got some massively impressive expansion and uh, permanent cavity there, but we lost one out the top. I meant to come in a, a little higher here and then take the second one there. Well, I guess that wouldn't have done as much good there anyways because it came out the top. Captured one, but let me go ahead and take one more down around here. See if we can capture a second one. So I'm not sure if that's about where that would have stopped or if we had one that didn't expand or what. Um, you know, I'll just fire a few more in there so we can verify that, but I would have a hard time believing that it didn't expand out of a rifle. Alright, well, I forgot to pay attention to if we were getting reads or not. I did see that third shot was an error and then the fourth was 1566 so in case you guys couldn't see the read in the video because it depends on if there was a glare on the screen or not, 1566. So I took third shot here, fourth shot here. Those should both be captures. I can see one of them's there. Other one's sitting right there. Let's take two in the clear real quick and we'll examine this more closely.
And once again, I forgot to slow down for the chrono there, but 1537. And I can tell you, because we did do a velocity video on a bunch of different 22 mag rounds, uh, that those do come in in the 1500 feet per second range. So, but at least you got some reads in this video. So, interestingly, we got some pretty good penetration. I didn't bother with the second block of the clear because I didn't think we'd need it, but boy, we almost needed it there. Let me grab a tape measure real quick. And I forgot to mention, guys, we do have this BB calibrated here. It's coming in 3.75 today, which is the very edge of the allowable penetration to be within spec. So it's a little on the light side, but it is still within spec. These clear blocks here, you don't need to calibrate these because they don't change and they come pre-calibrated from the factory and all that. However, on the past two previous uh, outings, I did calibrate it just for fun. And uh, when they were brand new, they came in at 3.00 inches. And after a remelt or two, they're coming in at 3.25. So one thing I'm noticing right off the bat is we have far greater penetration through the clear block than we do the Knox. There's a reason for that. You'll see that in a moment when I take these out. But again, that and much more is discussed in the video I mentioned. Uh, check the link explaining the differences between these two blocks and why you're getting two different results. So the shallowest penetration depth we're seeing with the Knox here. 11 inches, furthest one, about 12 and a half. The other one's sitting right there at about 11 and a half. And this one that went out the top went the furthest, but if you look at the permanent cavity, it's not as large as the others, so I think we got less expansion on this one, which is why it traveled further, uh, which is the same phenomenon going over here. These did not expand as much, which again, somewhat typical results with that block. So you can see the permanent cavity on this is just freaking massive. You can see the bullet already pretty good, nice and mushroomed. Uh, we'll flip this here in a sec, check out these other ones. There's your entry on all of them. So you can see that this one that went the furthest and came out the top, it's not nearly as large. So less expansion on that one, which is why it went further. And then of course we lost it. That's still right there though pretty big permanent that might have been a tumble though that kind of looks like a tumble channel so it might have tumbled and then flipped around and went out that might have been why it went further could have been a tumble now there's the bottom too for what it's worth there permanent cavity on those over here you can see vastly different results permanent wound cavities not nearly as large and again, that's just part of this clear stuff. Watch that video if you want to know the differences. But typically, you'll get less expansion, which means you get more penetration, which is exactly what happened here. They can tell by looking at them that they're not ex expanded as largely as they were in the Knox. This is a 16-inch block, so these two are sitting right at about 15. So then that one's probably about 13 and a half right down in there. So let me get set up for the gold dots real quick and we'll see how they compare. Hopefully you guys can see the chrono reads on that. We were getting 17s and 18s. Well, kind of stupid and kind of lucky here. Stupid for leaving my tape measure up there. And then when that high one hit, I was like, oh no, because it was lined up perfect. But thankfully, it stayed in the block. And then there's our two other shots. That one I went low on on accident. Probably hit the table. But this thing's been hit a million times anyways. Oh yeah. Might have bounced back up in the block. And then there's a good one over there all by itself. Check this out real quick. All right, so then there's the bottom shots. 
this is the one that hit the table you see we got some shrapnel right there from it uh, then the one that came in next to it got a good capture on that one right there so we got top capture bottom capture they went the same distance I'm sure this one would have done the same had it not hit the table then over here in the clear block entry 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 those were the hornadies these are the gold dots there's your permanent cavity on those we got a where are they oh all three if i point the camera right all three right there this is the cavities on those so that's interesting you can see every single one of those fragmented when it hit no doubt due to the extreme velocity coming out of that rifle barrel so it's shedding some lead there and doing some fragmentation almost like a varmint round but yet you're still getting really good penetration that's impressive and there's another view of that so you can see the permanent cavities almost the same size this does look a little larger to me depends on which one you're looking at there uh, but like i say we're getting some fragmentation here whether or not that's desirable that's up to you but it is interesting to see the difference there so i'll flip this back over this is the top one now um so we're coming in right at 11 there and the bottom one's in the same spot so we're at about 11 inches on the bottom one on these and this is a 16 inch block 12 and a half 13 12 and three quarters down in there is where those are coming in this one though it's got well you can see the bounce back on two of these this one's got a lot of bounce back so it actually traveled to about 15 inches there and then bounced back two inches or more actually that's another difference with this clear gel that you get that doesn't really occur with the Knox. Again, if you want to know all the differences, check out that video linked in the description. So, you know, as I said, those are designed to be shot out of pistols for personal defense for anyone who would use a 22 Magnum for such. Uh, but out of a rifle, we're getting massive cavities and good penetration too, or at least in the clear over here. You can see, uh, again, the Knox were getting about 11 there on the gold dots and a little further with the hornadies so like i said it might be a pretty good hunting round because uh really good expansion and uh decent penetration too now it'll be real interesting to see what these do at 50 and 100 yards like i said especially compared to more traditional loadings which i've been testing a bunch of these and uh, will continue to do so at longer ranges as well so here shortly when i start doing the longer range videos we'll be able to compare that's enough yapping let me cut these out and we'll take a close-up look of them all right so there they all are these are out of this nox gel and then this set is out of the clear gel so there's only three of these gold dots these are the gold dots these are the horny critical defense these are the gold dots these are the horny critical defense on this set uh the reason there's only two because remember that one hit the table and it like fragmented so you're not counting that one um so the uh critical defense held together much better in both which would be uh why they gave more penetration but i'm noticing here the it might be hard to tell and i'll get some measurements some rudimentary measurements here in a second uh, it might be hard, hard to tell from the camera but uh through the knocks these did expand to slightly larger diameters than in the clear so a larger diameter creates more drag thus you'll get less penetration um but also it seems like they stayed a maybe a little more complete in the clear because i saw some fragmenting from these i saw some of the jacket pieces left behind in the knocks where i didn't really um i guess there's a couple no that was the gold dot well i got this turn that's why i didn't really see any of that in this clear block it's mostly just a clear wound channel and i mean there's like a little piece right there but i've seen more pieces of the jacket coming off in this so not only do we have larger diameter expansion through the knocks which contributed to the less penetration than what we got in the clear. 
but we also had a little less even though they're larger diameter now a little less weight retention so these were smaller diameter and slightly heavier retaining more weight so that's what aided in them uh, penetrating as far as they did over here you can see they look about the same size for the gold dots um, but they're a little more complete I would say and I need to get a little scale for this in the future I wasn't so worried about it with rim fire but for all the center fire tests we'll have coming up I'm getting a micrometer or caliper gauge whatever it's called and also a little scale um, I don't know there's like yeah like this one has a little more they just don't look quite as mangled as if it's a very minuscule amount and this one's a lot thicker I can tell but like when I handle them I can tell I can tell they're they're larger there's more of them left so that's also why those penetrated a little further in here uh, there's there's more weight to them they didn't lose as much these are the gold dots the two on the left are from the clear gel and you can see they're both just a little bit shy uh, three-eighths of an inch and then these are the two gold dots from the Knox gelatin roughly the same measurement this one is right at about three-eighths of an inch while this one is a little bit shy you can see though they're a little more mangled so gold dot clear gold dot Knox and then of course these are the Hornady critical defense two on the left are from the clear block that one's a hair over three-eighths. That one's right at about three-eighths. And then these two are from the Knox block. Uh, that one's coming in over three-eighths a little bit. And this one right here is nearly half an inch in diameter. Um, so as you can see, uh, they're quite a bit larger through the Knox than they were in the clear gel, which is kind of helps with the uh, whole penetration thing that's going on between the two blocks. So, that's our results, guys. For the last time, if you want to know the difference between the blocks, video in the description. Um, so, like I said, I've been doing a bunch of 22 mag, 17 HMR tests. Check out the 22 playlists on the channel for all of those. Anything rimfire, I put in a 22 playlist. So, we've been doing a whole bunch of these. These are the last ones. Now, we're going to start stepping them out further when we get back to these Magnum rimfire cartridges. I do center fire videos as well, but I've kind of been on this whole 17 HMR, 22 mag thing. I did a few 380s, but uh, anyways, we'll have uh, more center fire tests coming up too. So we're not just a 22 channel here. Again, a video on this if you want to check it out. But hey, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it, and I hope to see you on the next one.